Hi, this is Chris Gold with Geeks on Tour and Learn Google Photos. And this is the second video about gathering all your photos into your Google Photos account. In the first video, I showed you about how to look at your Google Photos account in the cloud and see what was there and then to gather all the photos from your phone just by installing the Google Photos app. Let's, let's review. So here I am on a web browser looking at photos.google.com and I'm signed in with this test account that I'm using for the video. And here are all the photos that we uploaded from the phone and scroll around so we have you know, my phone has been taking pictures from 2020, so there's a lot of photos from 2020. There's a lot of photos from 2019, a few from 2018, basically none from 2016, maybe a couple. And then here's these ones from Cuba. If you watch the video, you know that this was one folder from our computer. So pretty much there's nothing there. There's a couple from 2014. So that's I know that I have photos on my computer from earlier than that. Let's go get them. First we're going to explore the photos on the computer. This is an old computer. I don't remember what's here. We got to look around and see where the pictures are. If you're using Picasa, I will show you a couple things about that as well. Even though you think they're in Picasa, they're still just in folders on your computer. So I want you to understand that. There's a couple of tricks in Picasa to do, and you need to decide what to do about edited photos. Let's take a look. I'm on a Windows computer here, so I'm going to use the File Explorer to look around and find my pictures. If you're on a Mac, it's the Finder that you need to know how to use. So there's all sorts of stuff on this computer, and maybe I have some pictures in Documents, maybe I have some pictures in my desktop, but I definitely have pictures in my Pictures folder. Let's open that up and it's showing me I have 2016, 2017, 2018. Now my 2018, 19, and 20 photos are already in my Google Photos, so I don't want them. I know that this 2015 Cuba is already on there, so I know I want the 2016 folders, etc. Now, for those of you using Picasa, you're saying, well, I don't know what this is. I, I have my pictures in Picasa. Let's take a look. So I open up Picasa, and first of all, if you are accustomed to seeing this flat folder structure view in Picasa, I want you to use the tree folder view. That is where you will be able to see the same thing that I was just looking at in the file manager. Here is pictures, and there's 2020, 2017, I don't care about those, 2018, I want to get down to the 2016s, 15s, 14s, etc. If you still don't understand where photos are, here's a quick way. If you see, ah, yes, this photo of the RV is something I definitely want. Where on my filing system is that? Right click and choose Locate on Disk. That will open up your File Explorer, your Windows File Explorer. And show you that that picture is in this PC, Windows Users Chris Pictures 2016-12. So that's what you're going to drag and drop into your Google Photos. The tough part is just arranging your screen. So here I have my Google Photos, and here I have my pictures. What I want is my pictures to be on the left side of the screen and my Google Photos on the right. I can do that with a Windows key on my keyboard and the left arrow and then select Google Photos and Windows key and right arrow. That is by far the easiest way. Now I'm going to 
just drag one of the let's say I'm gonna get 201603 that would be my March all you do is drag and over and drop it just uploaded six pictures now it says it had a skipped one let's see what that was that was that Picasa.ini file that's perfectly normal that is not a picture so I will just continue it says do you want to add it to an album I'm not going to do that yet we'll show you that in the, in the next step so I'm just going to click X now let's just review and make sure that those pictures got there I'm going to open up 201603 on my computer and see that there were just one two three four five pictures one of which looks like a document but it's just a JPEG uh, there's me and a couple other people there's our RV there's people sitting down okay and these are from 2016 March let's go look on Google Photos and I'll scroll down to 2016 and there are those photos that just got uploaded they are in the library Let's do one more folder and this time I am going to put it in an album. I'm going to choose this folder 2015 England this time because this is one folder that has all the photos from our trip in 2015 to England. So I'm just going to drag it and drop it. It starts uploading. There's 1,126 so this is going to take a minute. I'll pause the video you can watch the count go by as the upload progresses all right and it tells me that there were two items that couldn't be uploaded I'll take a look but those are files that aren't pictures so that's fine I click continue 1124 pictures were uploaded and it should be offering to put them in an album okay I didn't see it offer to put them in an album, but it is showing them all together as added today. If I just check on the added today, it should be checking all 1,124, and it's not. Hmm. Well, I know these are all still England, so I will shift click. Okay. 1095 selected and that is the last of the England one shift click 1124 selected and I will add them to an album manually and it is a new album and 2015 England I think it was just because it was pretty uh, a lot of photos but so now you understand what's happened is all of those photos are in my Google Photos on just in the photos but they are also grouped into an album the image is only there once it's in the it's in the library if I delete a photo from the main part of Google Photos it will be gone it will not be able to be shown in the album let's just do one more and I'll do a little one this time so okay this 2016 May kayaking folder only has eight pictures in it so let me show you what happens when I making sure that I'm just looking at my main library over in my Google Photos not any particular album I will drag the folder over drop it off and view skipped that's fine now eight pictures it's offered to add them to an album I click add to album new album 2016 May kayaking and check mark so now the library has three albums in it and several thousand photos but guess what I just remembered that I forgot to tell it high quality click on this little 
settings gear here and notice it has been uploading all of those in original quality. I did not want that. I wanted high quality. So I'm going to click on recover storage. That will compress. Yeah, I have 9.8 gigabytes of photos in there and once it's compressed it'll be about half of that and they won't count against my storage since it's before June 2021. Click compress and then all you have to do is is wait. It'll take a little while. That is uploading photos from your computer by dragging and dropping folders. And the last video will be on using the backup and sync to automatically upload all your folders. Thank you.